This is the KQ line, the fastest way to get from Haneda Airport to Shinagawa Station in Tokyo. Today, let's take this KQ line to go from Haneda International Airport Terminal 3 Station to two popular stations in Tokyo, which are Shinagawa Station and Shinjuku Station. I'm going to show you exactly how to get to the platform, how to buy a ticket, how to transfer to the Yamanode line to get to Shinjuku Station, and I'm going to show you how to transfer to the bullet train at Shinagawa Station if you want to go to Kyoto or Osaka right after your flight. I'm also sharing with you 8 useful tips about this KQ train so that you can be well prepared and confident to take Tokyo public transportation even on your first time trip to Japan. If you're coming to Tokyo via Haneda Airport, congratulations! It's already within Tokyo. It means that it doesn't take much time and money to get to where you stay at in Tokyo. Haneda Airport has three terminals. Terminal 1 and 2 are mostly for domestic flights, and Terminal 3 is for international ones. So if you're coming to Tokyo on an international flight, it's very likely that you're gonna be in Terminal 3. And there are three options of public transportation that you can take to get from Haneda Airport Terminal 3 to Tokyo Center. Option 1 is the monorail, option 2 is the KQ line, and option 3 is the bus. The best option depends on your destination in Tokyo, partly on your arrival time, and whether or not you have the JR Pass. If you have the JR Pass, you should take the monorail, because the monorail is fully covered by the JR Pass so you don't need to buy extra ticket for it. Even when you don't have the JR Pass, but your destination is Hamamatsucho Station, Tokyo Station, Akihabara, or Ueno Station, the monorail may be the better option. On the other hand, if you don't have the JR Pass, and or you're heading to Yokohama, Asakusa, Shinagawa, Shibuya or Shinjuku Station, the KQ line may be the better choice. So, how to get to the KQ Station? After you get out of the airport custom check, this is what it looks like in Terminal 3 of Haneda Airport. You should immediately see very clear sideboards in front of you. The KQ line is on the right hand side of the sideboard. So let's keep right and walk straight on here. The KQ station is on the same floor and is just a few steps from the arrival gate. As you walk past the information desk and the bus ticket vending machines, you can already see the KQ station. If you arrive within business hours, there are staff at the station to help you buy tickets at the machines. There are several ticket machines and a ticket counter at the KQ station. They also have all kinds of maps and price board with ticket price to some major stations. One important thing to note here is that all of the vending machines and also the ticket counters only accept cash. So make sure you have some Japanese yen with you. If you don't have cash with you, another option is to go over to the monorail station across the hall and get the Welcome Suica card at the machine using credit card. Or the best option, in my opinion, is to get a digital Suica card on your phone and load it up using credit card before coming to Japan. That way, when you arrive at the airport in Japan, you won't have to line up to get a card or line up to buy a ticket. You just tap your phone at the ticket gate to get on the train. 
Plus, the ticket price is cheaper when you use an IC card to pay for the trains. In this video, I want to show you how to buy a normal ticket and use it to get on the train if you don't have any IC card. Now, before you get on any train in Tokyo, make sure you've searched for the best route. So let's say you are at Haneda Airport Terminal 3 right now. Take out your phone, open Google Maps, enter your destination. For today, we are going to Shinjuku Station. So I'm gonna type in Shinjuku Station and hit Direction. The app will give you many options. To make sure you select the best option, go to Options and select Fewest Transfers. You will see the top two options are either taking the monorail and transfer to the Yamanote line at Hamamatsucho station or taking the KQ line and transfer to the Yamanote line at Shinagawa station. For today, we are going to take the KQ line to Shinagawa station and transfer to the Yamanote line at Shinagawa station to go to Shinjuku station. To get on the KQ train, you need to buy a ticket. And you can buy it at the ticket vending machines. It's very easy. Here's how. After changing the menu language to English, select Ticket. Then select Transfer to JR Line. Then select Search by Station Name and enter your station name. For this video, I'm going to select Shinjuku Station here. Then confirm and proceed to payment. I recommend always print out and keep the receipt every time you buy a ticket. Get your change, your ticket, and your receipt. So here you go. This is our ticket. From Haneda Airport to Shinjuku Station, it takes about 50 minutes and the cost is 510 yen. Now that you have your ticket ready, let's get on the KQ train. At the ticket gate, always remember to get your ticket back because you're gonna need to insert it at the ticket gate at your final destination to get out of the station. If you lose the ticket, you may have to pay for it again. After passing the ticket gate, you'll see the elevators on your right-hand side. These elevators are huge because the KQ line allows you to bring your cart down to the train platform. If you bring your cart down there, you can leave it at the cart pool before getting on the train. There are escalators too, but it's more convenient to take the elevators because they are closer to the ticket gate. There is a restroom area right next to the elevators. It's very bright and clean you can use the restrooms here as there will be no toilet on the train and the toilets at Shinagawa and Shinjuku stations are usually more crowded. The platform is not far away from the ticket gate, but I would recommend getting to the platform at least 10 minutes before the departure time so that you can have enough time to get ready for your coming train. There are different trains using the same rail here. So make sure you get on the one that says directly to Shinagawa Station. You can double check the time of the train using the clock at the platform to make sure you get on the right train. At the moment, the first KQ train departing from Haneda Airport Terminal 3 is after 5 a.m. and the last one is before midnight. The KQ line to Shinagawa Station is a commuter train. So it's very likely that you'll have to stand on the train the whole time. When you get on the train, it's best to avoid standing at the area close to the doors. And if you have a backpack, the train manner in Tokyo is to carry your backpack in front of you to avoid accidentally hitting other passengers with your backpack. The KQ line does not go directly to Shinjuku Station. You need to get off at Shinagawa Station and transfer to the Yamanote Line. The KQ Line is operated by the KQ Group, whereas the Yamanote Line is operated by the JR East Company. They are totally different companies, 
So when you transfer to a train from a different company, you have to go through a ticket gate. This ticket gate does two things simultaneously. You can call it the two-in-one gate. In this case, it ends your trip on the KQ line and starts your trip on the Yamanote line at the same time. So after you arrive at Shinagawa station, you need to get to that transfer to JR gate, which is on the other side of the rail. You can either go up or go down to cross over to the transfer gate. The ticket we bought is from Haneda Airport Terminal 3 all the way to Shinjuku Station. So you can still use that same ticket to get through the gate here. After passing the transfer gate, you are now inside Shinagawa JR Station. So we just transferred from Shinagawa KQ Station to Shinagawa JR Station. And this station is one of the busiest stations in Tokyo. There are so many shops and activities inside the station. Now you want to look for platform number 3. That is the platform of the Yamanote line going to Shibuya, Harajuku and Shinjuku station. If you want to take the elevator, go this way to the shopping area and the elevator is just around the corner. You don't need to rush here because there's a train every few minutes. Yamanote line is also a commuter train. It may be the most popular train in downtown Tokyo. There will be no dedicated place for your luggages and no toilet on the train. It is very crowded during rush hours. It takes about 23 minutes from Shinagawa JR station to Shinjuku JR station. Shinjuku JR station is huge and crowded and you don't want to take the wrong exit here. So make sure you check with your hotel what exit you need to take at Shinjuku JR Station. I keep saying Shinjuku JR Station because there are other stations at Shinjuku as well, like Shinjuku Subway Station, Shinjuku Odakyu Station, and Shinjuku Keio Station. And it might be confusing in communications if you don't clarify which station and which exit you are talking about. So when you arrive at Shinjuku JR station on the Yamanote line, if you want to go to the south or new south exit, you need to go up one floor. And if you want to go to the east or west exit, you need to go downstairs. Let's say you want to go to Basta, the expressway bus station at Shinjuku station, then you need to go to the new south exit. There are instruction boards everywhere. So just follow those instructions and walk to the new south exit. The bus station is on the upper floor of the new south exit in the same building. You will need to insert your ticket at the gate to get out of the JR station first. Then take the elevator or escalator to go up to the bus station. They are in the same building, so it is very easy to transfer from the train to the bus at Shinjuku station. But make sure you go to the new south exit of Shinjuku JR station. So that's how you can get from Haneda airport to Shinjuku station in Tokyo using the KQ line and the JR Yamanote line. How about transferring to the Shinkansen at Shinagawa Station? Shinagawa Station is a major station in Tokyo. It is one of the only three stations in Tokyo that has the Shinkansen Station. The other two Shinkansen stations in Tokyo are Tokyo Station and Ueno Station. If you plan to go to Kyoto or Osaka right after you arrive at Haneda Airport, Shinagawa is the station you should go to instead of Tokyo Station because the Tokaido Shinkansen which goes from Tokyo Station to Shin Osaka Station also stops at Shinagawa Station. If you go to Shinagawa Station, it'll be cheaper and faster. To get on the Shinkansen, you need to have a Shinkansen ticket. 
You can buy it online before you come to Japan to get a cheaper rate if you reserve early on the SmartX app. It is an official JR reservation app for bullet trains in the southwest part of Japan. After you buy your Shinkansen ticket online, you can link it to an IC card and just tap the card at the ticket gate to transfer to the JR station. When you are inside Shinagawa JR station, it is very easy to find the Shinkansen station. They have this line on the floor which guides you right to the Shinkansen station. And then you just tap the IC card at the Shinkansen ticket gate to get on the Shinkansen. If you don't have the Shinkansen ticket yet, you need to get out of the KQ station at Shinagawa, go up to the JR station in the same building, and then buy a Shinkansen ticket there. You can either buy the Shinkansen ticket at the ticket counters or at the ticket machines, and then get on the Shinkansen from that side of the station. So that's how you transfer from the KQ line to the Shinkansen at Shinagawa Station in Tokyo. Well, I hope this video helped you know how to take the KQ line from Haneda Airport to Shinagawa and Shinjuku Station in Tokyo. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me continue to make more videos like this. Thank you so much. Until next time, take care and have a nice day.